Listen, they get a lot of stick, these uh, Just Stop Oil protesters, but all you have to do is look around you and it's clear to see the environment we live in is absolutely fucked. Um, we're in a state of ecological catastrophe. Um, the unhealthy state of nature is all around us. You can see how nature is really suffering. Nothing's thriving, is it? Nothing at all. Um, and the world is uh, the world is in trouble if we don't address this this terrible, terrible climate catastrophe that's clearly going to destroy our way of life um, in the very foreseeable future. <laughs> Obviously, he was being sarcastic there, joking, uh, as he's walking through an area that is just uh, apocalyptic, you know, it just looks like a bomb just went off in that area, you know, it's absolutely crazy, like, all the trees are, are dead, you know, everything's brown and gone, <laughs> oh, man, yeah, we gotta talk about, uh, John Kerry's, uh, <laughs> we gotta talk about John Kerry's cousins, okay, <laughs> not really, but, um, I got to show y'all this video, and it is just absolutely despicable. Despicable. And I want you to comment below, if you were at this location, in this moment, what would you have done? What would you have done in the moment? I'm about to show y'all this clip. You ready? Now, remember, comment what you would have done if you were there watching this take place. Now let's dive in. Yeah, that was Stonehenge, the historical monument that has been there for, I don't even know how long, but a very long time, okay? Uh, yeah, the climate activists apparently think it's a great idea to just go spray your orange weird spray all over it, and yeah. Can, um, can anybody call up Ray Lewis for me real quick? <laughs> Anybody that's watched football, okay, American football, uh, knows who Ray Lewis was. <laughs> can, can anybody get Ray Lewis on line one? <laughs> or um, I, 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 I'll, I'll even I'll even take Troy Palomalu. I feel like that that might be a good image to watch the the locks flow in the wind because it sounded like it was a bit windy out there. You know, so it might be a good, a cool, a cool photo, you know, uh, to watch the, the locks, his hair fly in the wind. <laughs> yeah, comment below. What's your move? <laughs> hey, I, I got I got to call Ray Lewis or, or, or Troy Palomalu real quick. <laughs> Hit him up. I got him on line one on speed dial. <laughs> be there in an instant. But let's 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 dive into this a little bit, because these folks, I mean, they're all over the place. Check this one out. Women did not get the vote by voting. It is time for deeds and not words. It is time to just stop oil. Politics is failing us. Politics failed women in 1914. If millions will die due to new oil and gas licensing, millions. If we love history, if we love art, and if we love our families, we must just stop oil. Please 
These folks, man, they are weird. Gotta admit it, they're strange. Check this one out, too. Yeah, they broke in to spray some jets. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, golly goodness gracious they aren't the only ones though we've even got some older folks that have tagged along too check this one out This famous document is about rule of yes, law. Yes, can I come to? And standing up against an abuse yes, of power. Yes, I'm receiving over. Our government is breaking can I come its to own Kattler, laws. As a Christian, yes, I am yes, compelled to, to do all that I can. Can you stop doing that, please? Stop filming, please, eh? To can you stop alleviate the, the appalling yes. suffering that's coming come down the line over, please? and is here already. Can whatever it there, takes, whatever it stop the cost. Can you stop doing that, please? Can you stop doing that? So, we must... Stop doing that, please. Did you hear me? Just stop oil. Yes, sister, oil. can I come to my cut over? We must just stop oil. Can you stop doing it, please? What you saw there at the end, I believe, was uh, super glue that they were about to put on their hands and uh fix themselves to uh the the um the floor there but <sighs> this stuff just absolutely amazes me that, that these folks continue to do this stuff like this isn't a way to get people on board with you even someone like mark cuban the billionaire uh who is an owner he's a minority owner now of the dallas mavericks who just lost in the nba finals recently uh, he was talking about climate change as well, and he said that uh, he wouldn't vote for a president that did not believe in climate change or the importance of... Actually, let me read it. Uh, I have it pulled up on my phone here. Um, he, he said, these are his, his exact words, his tweet. I won't, I won't vote for anyone that doesn't believe climate change is real. And there is a post underneath or a reply to that that says uh how many private jets do you own and the last time that i checked uh mark cuban owns like three two or three private jets so um does he really believe in climate change <laughs> if anything this is a more effective way to uh get your message out there in my humble opinion if you started posting videos like this that i'm about to show you i think people would get more people would get a on board with you know cleaning up you know the planet and whatnot but just annoying people spray painting stuff you know spilling fake blood in a restaurant to uh, uh incite people you know blocking the road doing stuff like that it's just the craziness do stuff like this i'm gonna mute that sound there uh if, if you do stuff like this and record it you know uh i i think this is a lot more effective for two reasons, obviously, because you're actually doing something instead of polluting the air and polluting, you know, the, the, the planet with your spray, whatever that mess is, right? Um, so you're actually cleaning up and like, this is like, oh, okay, cool. Like you're not annoying people. People are still going about their daily lives. You know, like I don't see any problem with that. Otherwise, you're going to the response that you're going to get from folks will be like this. So in this situation, these climate activists are having a meeting at this location. You know, these stop oil folks, the folks that block the roads and spray the spray paint on Stonehenge and stuff like that. They're all having a meeting and sitting down. Well, um, they got a taste of their own medicine. Some people broke in and they tied uh, some alarms to some balloons. <laughs> 
<laughs> inside of this building, okay? They tied these loud alarms to balloons inside of this building and let the balloons go. And here is the result from that meeting. Check it out. That ladder's not tall enough, buddy. <laughs> that ladder ain't gonna be tall enough, buddy. You gonna have to think of something else. <laughs> They've left us with a difficult problem to solve. You, you darn straight they did. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to get up there to get it. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't have any darts on you. And even if you did, uh, you're going to have to exit the building because that's a real dangerous situation. Because what you throw up there <coughs> will come down. I also want to show you guys this clip really quickly and we'll get out of here. Because uh, these folks don't make any type of sense. Check it out. Let's come back to the fossil fuel issue. You want an international emergency treaty to end fossil fuel use, basically all fossil fuel use by 2030. This isn't about not being allowed to buy a, a diesel car in 2030. Uh, this isn't about having to use solar power panels on your house. All fossil fuel use ended by 2030. Tell me what you think the impact of that would be on people's everyday lives. So we acknowledge that this will be a, um, it will require an emergency response and it will require a massive mm -hmm. change in a massive the way change. that we live our lives. Tell us the impact. However. No, no, not however. What will the impact be of people not using fossil fuel in 2030? Tell us what the impact well, would be. I think what would your everyday what life be like be? and mine? What will the um, what will the impact be if we keep using fossil fuels? No, that wasn't the question, Ella. What because would if the, we do that, we'll face collapse of the we're, NHS. We're all going to we'll die. Face yes, we're all going to die. Services. Yes, 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 yes. We're all going to die. What is the impact? Twenty thirty, us no longer using fossil fuels. So this has been detailed quite heavily on the Just a World website. Okay. And I encourage anyone that's listening. So to tell us. You must have read it. You're an it activist. Things like. Um, funding free public transport. It will include insulating homes. There's a lot more steps to this, but you're absolutely right. No, this no, Ella, I do. I, with all due respect, you're not answering my question. If we don't use fossil fuels, we can't build anything anymore. That requires us. We won't be able to operate trains. Most of our cars won't operate, even including, by the way, the electric cars, because electric cars are actually, by the way, they're made using fossil fuels, usually in factories on the other side of the world who use, uh, who use uh, uh, fossil fuels to make them. We won't be even be able to keep the lights on most of the time, put heating on. We won't be able to have air con when it's hot, when we're burning. We won't be able to eat our homes when it's cold, when, by the way, more people die by a factor of, of nine to one. Um, we won't be able to get planes. We won't be able to travel anywhere. I uh, don't know how we're going to be running ferries and boats so we can travel at all. Um, we won't be able to have mobile phones. We won't be able to have uh, cook as well. What how do you think how do you think life is going to be in 2031 or even indeed two days after we stop using fossil fuels in 2030? Because you seem to be very blasé about that. What you're looking at is turning us back to pre-industrial revolution times when life was really bloody hard. Well, Julia, you're forgetting that renewable energy exists, so we absolutely yeah. can still have energy. But you know, oh, I'm no, not no, 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 so, so let me clarify. Do you know how it's do you know? Do you know how much the percentage of the of our actual energy use is renewable energy at the current time and how much you predict it will be by 2030? I'm aware that it needs to increase and this is it why needs we need to an emergency plan right now in 2024. It's not even all it's not even path. all of our 20% need for electricity. So what are you going to do for the rest of it? Julia, this is why we're calling on our government to enact this emergency plan emergency to plan. stop the burning and use of fossil fuels by 2030. This is why we need you an emergency You think we're going to be now. able to replace all of our fuel needs by 2030? It's 2020. We're halfway through 2024. You think by 2030 we'll be able to replace all of our fossil fuel needs with renewables? It's absolutely an ambitious plan, but ambitious. the alternative is accepting that we're going to be yes. facing mass death. We're going to face, well, where, how, so remind me, how are we facing mass action. death? Remind me, how are we facing mass death if we don't do this? 
well, basically, there's a climate crisis, a climate and we're crisis. pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, mm -hmm. which is heating the planet to uh -huh. unlivable temperatures. Unlivable temperatures. Time. Nothing in the IPCC report says that. Um, it Nothing. does. It talks no, about it doesn't. The... No, it doesn't. Nothing so in the report say that. There's um, temperatures that humans can grow food um, inside of and they can survive within. Uh, well, uh, no, and... there's no, there is nothing whatsoever predicting any of that. I mean, you need to read up on this thing you care so strongly about, Ella. Julia, we know for a fact that if we for keep fact. heating the planet in this way, mm -hmm. there will be massive crop failure. This That's, is already well, th No, actually, we've seen, actually, as you say, the planet is warming. Uh, we've had a uh, higher crop yields in, in recent years with a warmer planet. Funny that, isn't it? I just like to say, I'd, come on any time. But I do think you need to read up on the subject, which is something you've been arrested. You've even been uh, convicted a few times. You care so strongly about this topic that you know absolutely nothing about. Which... <laughs> Oh, absolutely owned. Absolutely owned. You know, and, and she brought up a great point. Like these folks don't think about how the stuff is made. Where do you think the wind turbines come from? Do you think they just fall out of the sky? Like they have to be made and produced. Where do you think these batteries come from? They just float up out of the bottom of the ocean or something? Like they're, 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 they're made. How do you think... And how do you think they're made if they aren't made here? How do you think they get here? Do you think there's a electric uh, 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 boats to get them here? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think there's just this electric vehicle that just drives across the water? <laughs> to deliver these massive batteries. <laughs> That can't be recycled, by the way. So once they're cooked, uh, that's pretty toxic. That's just going to a landfill. Um, <laughs> man, this stuff just amazes me, man. But I do want to bring up this old tweet from Mrs. Greta that says this. A top cli climate scientist is warning that climate change will wipe out all of humanity unless we stop using fossil fuels over the next five years. We'll wipe out all of humanity, okay, in the next five years. You know when this tweet was posted? June 21st of 2018. What year is it now? Yeah. I think that was over five years ago. She said uh, five years. I'm just saying. And some of you guys are, are old enough to remember, you know, all of the different situations, uh, you know, from the we're going to run out of oil to the polar ice caps are going to melt to uh, uh, the ozone layer is going to be non-existent anymore to, oh, we're going to go into the next ice age, right? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's always something new every decade it, it, it was it was global warming for a while now it's just climate change it's just a overall just change right oh my goodness goodness gracious okay and with that man i rest my case what do y'all think about it let me know peace and love <laughs> i'm out